the ever so ignorant George Zimmerman is coming for Jay-Z again, but this time he's also coming for Beyonce, the Queen Bee. He's big mad about Jay-Z's Trayvon Martin documentary, Rest in Power, that came out not too long ago, so much so that he's been sending threatening texts to damn near everybody who's worked on it, from the private investigator Dennis Warren, who you know was working on getting facts and pieces together for the movie, so in doing so, he was trying to speak to his parents. And George was pissed off about that, so he let him know word for word, anyone who Fs with my parents will be fed to an alligator. Wow. And from December 16 through 25 of 2017, he left this PI 67 text messages, 36 voicemails, 27 emails, and called him at least 55 times, all in nine days, keep in mind. What the f***? Needless to say, George was charged with stalking Warren in May in Seminole County, Florida, but they treated it as a misdemeanor and the case is still currently pending. Now, he's also made contact with the co-producer, Michael Gasparro. He stalked him too and sent Gasparro his own home address and let him know that members of a notorious New York City mafia is looking for him. He's sick. And in regards to Beyonce and Jay-Z, he said, and I quote, if I see either of them in my life, they'll find themselves inside a 13 foot gator. Wow. Like why is this poor excuse of a man free again? He is clearly mentally disturbed and needs to be locked under a jail like yesterday. Like I'm not understanding why this evil man, no, evil thug rather, is still out and about and even able to make threats. He's a menace to society. Like let's not forget that after taking the life of the innocent Trayvon, he was pulled over for speeding. And I'm not talking about doing 55 and 54. 55 and 54. I'm talking doing 60 and the 45. Not to mention, he also threatened his own wife and held her at gunpoint. Like, what more do authorities need to lock this unstable crazy away? Like, really? Oh, I forgot. This is America. Mm. And now he's coming for Beyonce. Shaking my head. Oh, yeah. The final episode of the six-part documentary airs on Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern on the Paramount Network. And honestly, I did not even see 1 through 9 yet, but now I will for show. Sure. Okay, but anyways, what do y'all think about this madness? Leave your thoughts below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. Like and follow facebook.com slash Petsy blog. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Petsyblog.com signing off.